Members don't know how good you've got it. Grandpa did not have a tape measure to build stuff. And he sure did not have a calculator. What he had were sticks. He had long sticks and short sticks and small sticks. And with these sticks, he could build a perfect hand rail. Here, let me show you how. Before you do anything, you have to make a paper plan to show you where to put the pickets. See, a handrail has pickets or upright sticks to fill the space between the posts. They're called balusters in the jargon of the vernacular. Say you have two posts what need a handrail to keep Grandma from falling off the porch when she waters her plants. You take a long stick and you make a mark at the two posts. If you draw out a line on some paper or slab board or something, you can use the stick to mark the line. Now, a very important part. You must take half the thickness of one picket or baluster or upright stick, whatever you call it, and add it to the, each of the end marks of the post line. That's one half. And the other half. This is the length you will measure out to build the handrail. Give it a name. Call it the main line or the master line. Now the measuring part. Draw a second line at any angle to the first line. Take one of your small sticks and use it to break up the angle line into the number of pickets that fit between the posts. If you have seven pickets, you will need eight marks. Give this line a name. Call it angle line number one. Now comes the tricky part. From the first point on the master line, right here, you're going to make a stick with a hole and a notch to the last point at the end of the line. So now you have a master line with an angle stick and a notch and a hole the exact length A stick on a pivot. Now comes another tricky part. We're going to do the same thing with a shorter stick.
notch. These two sticks, the long one and the short one, wait, the long one and the short one will help you make an angled line exactly the same angle and dimension as the one on top. Watch this. You got your long stick from angle line number one. You put it on the master line hole. And it leaves a curve. Now you take your small stick and do the same thing. The two curves cross each other. Now if you take a long stick where the two curves cross and the beginning of the master line, you can draw a line that's exactly the same length and angle as the line on top. These two are now matching lines. Now take your small stick and use it to mark out the same divisions you had on your larger, your angle line number one. Pretty slick, huh? If you connect the marks from the angle line number two with the marks from the angle line number one, you will have the exact location of your balusters on the master line. These points are now exactly equally spaced from each other and from the end on this master line. See? No tape measure, no calculator. Just a perfectly symmetrical balustrade. Old Grandpa was a pretty smart cookie, even if he did not have any fancy calculators or tape measures to do his thinking for him. He just took help from an ancient Greek mathematician named Euclid to show him how to use some scrap wood sticks to build things.